Hey, so here you're going to start by finding your file, opening it up, and then you're going to print it. You want to make sure that the settings are for cutting through plywood. So if you look here, I'm going to click on Preferences right there, and then there's a Load button where I'm going to load the preset for way down at the bottom, 1 8 inch plywood. And that setting right here, if you look at red, cuts at 100% power and about 28% speed. So hit OK, then hit print, and print again, and then I'll send it over to the laser engraver. Now because there is some engraving there and cutting, it actually is going to say power 100 and speed 60, but that's the engraving part. Well, we're hopeful that the 2.8 speed for cutting through the plywood is also in that program. Notice that I already put a sheet of 12 by 12 inch plywood up on the top left corner, making sure that it's uh, up against the edge so that it cuts all the way through and then it starts to do the cutting. You notice here it's going back and forth, which means that it's doing the engraving part, which would probably take longer. Uh, here now I'm finished. It takes about 19 minutes and 24 seconds to do the whole thing. And here's all the pieces that are cut out, you can see the engravings finished. So hopefully all the pieces fall out nicely. As I take this out, I'm just gonna shake them a little bit, see what falls out. And I might need to carefully break that off. I wanna be very careful when I do this, especially on like this spot right here. I don't wanna break those fingers off. So I was careful going back and forth, little by little to crack that little bit of wood that was left over in that spot. Then I'm going to take all of the pieces out that I don't need, sort through these little pieces inside there, and I'm going to make sure I throw all of those away. So I'm not leaving a mess inside the laser engraver or around the laser engraver. Just a few of those, put them in the garbage. All right, now I'm ready to collect my pieces and bring them over to the sanding table. Here we are. You'll notice that there's a lot of soot on these pieces because the laser cuts through by burning it so that it turns into ash. So what you're going to do is go around on all these pieces and just try to sand off the soot a little bit. You could also try to get a wet paper towel and wipe it off. A little soap would help there. But you don't want to make the pieces wet because they'll start to warp and bend and then when you go to glue it together it'll be really difficult. All right, skipping ahead here a little bit. I finished all those. Now I'm going to sand off the soot off the surfaces of the pieces. One by one, I'm using 400 grit sandpaper because I don't want to take a lot of the wood off. I just want to get enough of that black soot off. You also might need to wash your hands as you go because that black soot gets on your fingers and you want your box to be nice and clean and not fill up a bunch of black and brown fingerprints from that soot and the ash. So you can see it up here close, there's some along that edge, so I'm going to spend a little more time sanding that off until it looks nice and clean. Turn it around and see how that one looks here when I'm finished. Looking pretty good so far. And then you just keep going, sanding off the black soot and ash. You can also, like I said, try to wipe it off with a wet paper towel, but you don't want to get the wood too wet. 